What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Demos Gaming and today we are playing 7 Days to Die with the mod Action Skills by Jax Teller 718. So, what specifically is the action skills? Well, if we kind of rewind a little bit back to Alpha 16 and before, which was a couple years ago now, we used to actually level up our characters by doing things, which technically we still do now. We, we level by doing things, but... <laughs> so in like Alpha 20, in the last couple Alphas, you would actually level up by, you know, you'd get experience, you would get a level, and then you'd get a point that you could put into one of these perks here. Whether it was, you know, the Brawler or Skull Crusher or whatever, you know, you, you'd get a perk point, you could put that in there. And create builds based on how you, how you put in those um, perk points. Now in Alpha 16 and before, the way that you would actually level things up is, so for instance, I'm gonna use this rifle specifically. And I'm gonna kill zombie with it, okay? I'm actually gonna try to kill a couple zombies with this. And what you'll see is at the bottom of the screen, we'll eventually see like rifle skill increased. So basically, I don't have to put a perk point in anything. I just have to use this rifle and then I'll eventually level it up which is kind of cool. It's kind of along the lines of like Valheim or if we go way back Morrowind, you know, Morrowind used to be like, you could just run around and you would like level up your athletic skill just from running around. And actually it was the same way, like I said, in Alpha 16 and before, um, you could level up, yeah, just by running around or like looting things, that kind of thing. Uh, but let's actually get this thing to level up a little bit so you can kind of see how it works. Oh, there we go. For a second there, I thought it wasn't working. It seemed like it was taking forever to level up this thing. I leveled up the pistol skills a lot faster. Line them up, girls. Come on, girls, line them up. Hopefully I can actually hit you with my, my old rifle here. Oops, nope, missed her again. Oh boy. I feel like it's going right through her goddamn face. What the hell's that all about? Jesus Christ, hey you. Fuck off. So if we go into the action skills, which actually is under skills normally, and we go all the way over to this one, then we can see, I've actually been playing around a little bit, trying to test out the mod, see how it works, um, by using some mining and construction tools, pistol weapon, shotgun. Now, we just leveled up our rifle skill. Now, here's what's cool about this. You can see there's this little cart button up here, and we have some points to use. Technically, I don't have to click on that to level this up. Basically, we're at level one now, so all this stuff that it says here, entity damage, 100.3, a reload speed multiplier, we're gonna reload a little faster. Um, all of this stuff that says here now applies, and we don't have to put a point into it at all. It's kinda cool. So essentially, just by doing things, you can level it up. Now, with weapons, I feel like it's a little harder to actually, excuse me. I, I think it's a little harder to actually see like how it works exactly. So what I'm gonna do here is we're gonna kind of test this out with the ax, which is considered a construction tool in this particular instance. So uh, I already have that at level five. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just gonna kind of go to town on this fence and see, see what the damage, see how the damage goes up. So if I start here, oops. Oh, I'm one hitting all these things. Okay, what about, uh, let's try maybe this part of the fence. Oh, there we go, okay. So right now we're doing, what is that, 58 damage? See, so yeah, we're doing 58 damage a pop. So let's see when this levels up, if we'll be doing any more. Oh boy, we better drink some coffee, yeah. Eat a little bit of meat stew, that's delicious. It's tasty stuff right there. Okay, there we go. So construction tools level just increased. So let's go over to a fresh one and see if it went up. Last time I tested this out, it actually didn't go up. It went up the next time. So we were doing 58 damage before. Still doing 58. So we need to keep leveling up. It'll probably be on the very next level that we'll actually see that little bit of an increase. So that is kind of the one thing about this is a lot of, I guess the effects that you're gonna see from it are gonna take a little while to see it. But guess what? We're only on day one. And, you know, I mean, I pulled this out of the cheat menu and, and all that kind of stuff. So, honestly, like I said, those typical effects, you're not going to see them till much later. Now, I did hear that by, like, using these weapons, this will actually level up your bladed skill. Suck it, lady. 
So I, that is kind of one thing to keep in mind that by using these as weapons, you are technically lo uh, leveling up those skills that would be like associated with it if you're using it as a weapon. There we go, so uh, construction tools level increased, so let's see what we got now. There we go, so now we're doing 59. So as you can see, I didn't I didn't put any perks into anything. Uh, I did earlier, that is the one thing I will say, is don't put any of these points in here like I did, because you don't have to. I was actually taking the points that I was getting, um, you know, just like from killing zombies, that I can put into these perks here, and I was putting them in this, and you don't, you don't have to, and I was so pissed off after I noticed that. I was like, oh crap, I shouldn't have been doing that. <laughs> so no, you don't have to purchase these. Like I said, it'll just go up on automatically, which is really, really nice. That is basically how this works. And there are a bunch of different options here. There's javelin weapons, turret weapons, uh, blunt weapons, you know, whatever. Basically by using these tools and weapons, you're going to level them up. And then when you get the points from just like regular leveling, re regular experience points, you can put perks into, um, you know, minor 69er, which is automatically, I think, going to make it yeah, that's going to send it way up as well. So it's like you're getting a little bit of experience just from simply doing these things without having to put perk points into it. And then you can put perk points in to level them up even farther, which, I mean, I guess could essentially make your character kind of overpowered pretty early on, especially if you have like major experience multipliers. I usually do like 200% experience multipliers. I might drop that down to 100 now that I have this. Come here, you little fucking son of a bitch. Hey! Don't you fucking run from me! Where are you? Where'd you go? Fucking got away. But not next time, little rabbit. Not next time! Where is that you? Was that you? That is you. Fuck you. Got you, you little fucking asshole. It's my rabbit. Fuck you. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Anyway, really, really cool mod. I am so glad, Jack Seller uh, 718 that you put this thing together. This is a lot of fun to mess around with and just really kind of nice to get back to the good old days of Alpha 16 and like how that whole system worked because it just, it just makes more sense, you know, to be like leveling things up um, as you're physically doing them and like getting better at doing them, you know, instead of, like I said, instead of creating those kinds of like builds and stuff like that, which is the one thing I'm not super crazy about about the newer versions of Seven Days to Die. All the other stuff they've added in is fine. It's just that that's the one thing that I kind of have as a gripe um, for me, for me personally. And there are a ton of overhaul mods that use this kind of thing. In fact, I think a dead legacy is one that uses them. I was just playing that a couple days ago and holy shit, that is one hell of a like if you want to try like a, an intense overhaul mod that's really gonna kick your ass if you've been used to playing seven days to die a certain way for a while give that mod a try it, it definitely threw me for a loop and i died a lot actually I take that back i didn't die i got real close to dying it was like on day two i walked out of my freaking house came downstairs and there was a ton of zombies out out and about and I was like all right I'll just run past them whatever but then there was a fucking dire wolf and I had to unload every bullet I had in my gun to put that bastard down and then I got infected couldn't find any honey or anything it was a mess but it was fun I actually had a, a great time with it because of just how intense that was but yeah um there is something in fact action skills I think is included in that but you can actually get uh you can actually level up your character also just from C shock and level just increase as well you can level up your character uh just from like uh like looting things by running around you know just kind of like uh i think i think you can level up just from running and that kind of thing which is something i'd love to see included in action skills in the future because that's like a mod that i would just use regularly just kind of include that in like all my playthroughs because i feel like that's just a really fun one to have in there so give this mod a try especially if you're a fan of like older versions of seven days that i where they had that specific kind of progression system i can guarantee you're gonna enjoy this you're you're gonna like the uh you're gonna like the the nostalgia from it if anything so I hope you enjoyed this really short episode. If you did, please give it a like. And if you enjoyed this kind of content, then absolutely explode that subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. Lady, 
Shut down. And in the meantime, if you find yourself in a situation where you really wish that the fun pimps would just go back to the old progression system, then try this mod out because it's the closest thing I think that we're going to get uh, in the foreseeable future. I don't see them ever going back to the old system that we used to use in, in older versions of Seven Days to Die. So this really kind of brings that back and it's a really, really nice change. So give it a try and I'll see you on the next episode. Peace.